Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's George and today's video is going to be like this big misguided try on haul spring thing. So if you want to see what I picked up then please keep watching and if you're new to my channel then welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. So the first thing I ended up picking up in this misguided haul was this sort of white cropped sleeveless jersey basic top so i feel like this sort of style is very popular at the moment and i feel like there are so many brands doing this type of top um uh, this one's a bit different because it's kind of like ribbed i don't know if you can see that on the camera yeah so this one's like kind of ribbed and it's just a bit different and it's actually like a really thick white material and you can't see like my bra through it or anything like that which i think is fab because i hate when you order something and it's white and it's completely see-through it sort of just ruins the outfit but anyway um so this is the first time i got i picked this up in a size 10 because i thought with sort of white tops i tend to get them in the size a little bit bigger just because if they are a bit see-through then it's a bit more lenient because if there's less stretch then hopefully they'll be less see-through if that makes sense so i quite like this top it feels like the quality of the material is really nice and it's really soft and it's really comfy um the cut of this bit though i thought it was gonna be a bit looser if that made sense instead of being like as sort of not strained but as gappy as it is but i still really like it um i'm still not convinced though if these tops sort of suit my shoulders because i've got quite broad shoulders um so i guess we're just gonna have to trial them and see what i think but overall i do like this top i think it's i think it's like a good basic to have in especially if summer's coming around and you need something to like lounge about the house in, like, I think this is like a really good staple basic just to be able to like throw on with like trackies or shorts or whatever. But yeah, this is the first top. So, I had to move the camera to sort of like try and show the trousers. So that's why I'm kind of like crouched at the moment. Um, but the next thing I picked up are these pink faux leather trousers. So they just do up with like a classic button and zip and they're like a baby pink. And if I zoom out, they've got like these slit bits at the front, like the cut out detail in the trousers. And you know what? I actually think these are really nice. I picked them up in a size 10 because I find with misguided trousers, like it's always better to size up just to make sure that they're like a good fit. So I'm like between an 8 and a 10, but like with the 10, like there's a bit of room. There's still like a bit of comfort with them. But the quality of these is really good. They don't feel like that cheap plasticky. I'm gonna crash on again so you can guys can see my face whilst I talk. Um, but they're not like that cheap plastic fake leather you can get sometimes. Like they're actually really good quality. And I love the colour and I think it's so nice for spring. Like even with this top, I think it's quite nice. Like just a sort of faux leather pink. Like I just, I don't know. I think these are really nice and the quality feels really good. So yeah, so the next top I ended up picking up was this sort of mint green, pastely green cami top with this lace tie up detail. So I actually think this is such a nice top, like I think especially like in the spring transitional period, like it's just so light and it's really comfy and it feels really soft. And like this tie up detail, I just think it's so pretty. So I put this up in a size 10, um, just because I thought with these cami tops, you never want them too tight. And I didn't know how this would fit sort of around the stomach and like around the back and stuff. So I reckon potentially I could have got this in a size eight, but there's just a lot of material here, um, which I actually think is quite flattering, quite floaty, like nothing sticks in the wrong places. So yeah, I think this is actually such a pretty top. And if I you zoom in into like the tie up detail, like this all just ties up down the middle and the bow goes up here. But yeah, like I think this is such a pretty top and I could so imagine wearing this like a pair of jeans and just yeah really pretty so the next thing i ended up picking up is this crop top and jogger set so i picked this up in the size eight and i thought it was just really nice having like the matching top and trousers just because sort of especially now we're all in like self-isolation and can't really go out it's nice to have comfy clothes to lounge around the house in so this top i don't know if you can see it, it's very short it just about covers my bra and it's like this ribbed material but the trackies aren't ribbed, but they are the softest tracksuits I've ever worn. Like, 
They just feel so comfy. Like, I want to keep touching them. Um, but I picked these up, this up in a size 8. I mean, I probably could have got a 10 because of the bra let thing. But then the trackies are quite big, like for a size 8. Um, but they're quite, there's quite a lot of room in them. But I don't think the white see-through, like you can't really see anything that's going on. So yeah, I actually love this set. It is so comfy. And I can definitely imagine just like lounging around the house in this, just sort of throwing it on in the morning, just getting on with my day really. But yeah. I really like this, it's really, and it's so comfy, and I think comfort is definitely what you need, you know? Well guys, I actually love this play suit. It is so comfy, and I think it is so flattering, where it like goes in with the belt, and these little sleeves, it's so cute, and like the colour scheme is lovely, like it's this little nudie, beigey, browny colour and white and it's got a really nice square neck and the puff sleeve details and the bell i just think it's adorable i think obviously it needs a bit of a crease it's a bit creased from where it's been sat in the packaging but i think if you give this a bit of an iron imagine being on holiday this like little woven bag some sandals i think it could be so cute and it's quite a nice safe play suit because it covers your bum and it's all it's all good there because sometimes when you have play suits and you're a bit taller they might not sit correctly if that makes sense um but i picked this up in a size 10 so with play suits i tend to size up just because where i'm taller like the 10 gives me a bit more length than perhaps an 8 would but i think this is really nice and because it's got the belt you can really like bring you in and make your waist smaller um but i think this is a lovely play suit and i love the sleeves i think puff sleeves are so flattering with a square neckline and I think for me, like, I've got quite big shoulders. Um, I feel like I say it in every try and hold that I've got massive shoulders or broad, broad back or whatever. But you're just going to get used to it. <laughs> um, I just think these are quite flattering on my shoulders. And they, I think they're quite nice. They're quite girly, very pretty. And just, yeah, I could so imagine wearing this on holiday. I think it's lovely. So the next dress I picked up, I picked up in a size 8. And it's this sort of denim stretch white and purple dress. So I think this is so nice and it's the denim that has so much give to it. So like, I don't know if I can show you this, but like it's really stretchy, like there's a lot of room for movement. And it has this zip all the way up the back, so all the way down there is a zip for it to get on. So if you're in between sizes, I'd say size down in this one, just because there is so much give and room in it. Um, but I think it's such a nice dress, like I think it's really pretty, it's a bit different from like your plain white dress. And the fact that it's denim makes it a bit more versatile because you don't just have to wear it on holiday, if that makes sense. Like you can wear it in the UK and layer it and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, I think this is really pretty. I really like the sleeves on this and the cut of the neck just because it's almost like a sweetheart neck, but then it has like a bit of like a square neckline, if you know what I'm trying to say. And it's got these little sleeves. But I just think this is a really sweet dress, like very... What did I say? Like very like family party vibes. Like in the summer, like it's a it's a nice dress. So the next thing I ended up picking up with this is this white sort of. I don't really know how to even explain this dress because it's kind of the shape of a t-shirt dress, but with these bits here. I don't know if you can see them, can you see them? Ah, this bit's like all these little detail bits. It like pulls it in a bit more, make it a bit more like structured. Um. I actually am pleasantly surprised by this dress. So I picked it up in a size 8 um, and it's not too see-through. I think you can maybe slightly see the outline of my bra for just colour, yeah. Like you can slightly see that. But I sort of have like my hair, I was going to say I've had my hair down, my hair's not long enough to cover that. But like, it's quite a nice dress, it's not too short because where I'm quite tall I really struggle with finding nice day dresses which aren't too short so i think this is actually such a nice dress and i would so wear this like in spring i think i just think where the weather's getting warmer i'm wanting more clothes i can wear out and we can go out um <laughs> in spring and i just think like this is really cute like, i feel very girly very like pretty wearing it um and i really like that like i think this is such a pretty dress so i would definitely be keeping this so i picked this up in a size 8 the material feels nice like there's nothing scratchy about it because i feel sometimes when ordering online you don't know how the material is going to feel on your skin but this feels lovely <laughs> the next dress i ended up picking up is this green floral like milkmaid again puff sleeve 
mini dress. Um, so this I think is actually a really good length. Again, like it's not too short. I have to keep going back really far for you guys to see the length. But yeah, so it's so not too short, it's quite a nice dress. I picked this up in a size small because it's not actually part of the misguided range. It's from a company called Brave Soul. So it says Brave Soul on the back, but then it's got a misguided label attached to it. So I assume they just work together or something. But yeah, it's this really pretty green floral print and it's got buttons all the way down. Um, and I just thought this was a really sweet, cute, girly daytime dress. I don't know if you guys are kind of like getting the vibe that I was going for here. It was very much like spring, girly dresses. Um, just clothes that get me excited for summer, you know? So this I think was a really nice dress and it's really comfy. And I think it was good getting it in a size small, although there is a tiny little pull here. Um, there's none anywhere else, but it's just this little bit here where my waist is. That I could be a little, there could be a bit more room, which I could have got if I got a medium. Um, but it said a small as an eight, so I was like, oh, okay, it should be fine. But all around here is like very stretchy and the material is really nice, really loose. Not like that loose clinging material that like clings to you when it can be a bit staticky. But it's a really nice dress and I think it's so pretty. And again, I can very much imagine wearing this in the summer. So the next dress I also got is from Brave Soul. Brave Soul? Is that what I said it was called earlier? Yeah, from Brave Soul. Um, so I picked this up in a size small and you know what? I wasn't actually sure how I was gonna feel about this dress. So I don't know if it's just me, but these dresses with this sort of lace bit here, I don't know if you can see that, like this really small lace bit and then the bow, just slightly remind me of my grandma's 90s. And I don't know if that is just me or if it's just something that I associate 90s with, but I saw this dress and I thought it looked quite sweet. Again, it's like another floral mini pink dress type thing um it's again got little puff sleeves they almost feel like a mesh material they don't they don't feel like cost oh okay so it's got like a sheer outer layer i don't know <laughs> i probably should have just done that but it's got like you know that sheer mesh and then you can like see through the camera like it's that kind of mesh material um so it's got that, that is the material it feels like. I couldn't quite describe it, but yeah. So I think this is quite a sweet dress, but I don't know if it's particularly that flattering because it's got that mesh and slip, it's a bit more um, clingy than the previous dress before where it just flowed out. Whereas this one almost, I think, just clings a bit more. Um, so I'm potentially not sure how flattering that would be. And also I'm not sure if this area will just remind me of my grandma. Which is nice, obviously, but I don't want to be wearing my grandma's 90s, you know? So, the next dress that I picked up is this green and white gingham. I think it's called a smock dress, where it just kind of, like, hangs. And I think maybe it was last summer or the summer before, maybe, like, every summer, Zara came out with a load of smock dresses. And I just think they look so nice and they can be so flattering. And they just, I don't know, I really like them. I think they're really pretty. And I saw this one and it has like this really nice gingham and mint green colour pattern going on. And I just, with these frill sleeves, I just thought it'd be so pretty with a pair of like white Air Forces. And it'd just be so nice for summer. Like I think it'd be lovely. So I picked this up on a size A. I thought with smock dresses, always better to get the smaller size than the bigger size just because they are so big anyway. Like this, there's so much room in this dress that it's better to size down than it is to size up. And you know what, like I've tried on smock dresses before and I've never really thought they've suited me because I'm quite a broad person. I feel that they make me look broader than I am. But I actually quite like this one, you know, like, I think it is such a nice dress. I love the pattern on it. It's a good length and it's so comfy and the material is really soft, really comfy. And I think this could be such a handy dress just to throw on if you're going out and about, but still look nice and put together. So yeah, I actually really like this one. Right, so the final item and final dress, which I picked up is actually the item that's like sparked this haul. Um, I was just scrolling through Misguided and I saw this dress and I literally fell in love with it. The main reason I did is because of the back. It's got, I don't know if I ever tied them very well, but it's got these two little tie details on the back. And it's got these tiny little spaghetti straps at the top and it's such a nice pale blue and um, white stripe. And I just thought it was such a pretty dress. I thought it would be so nice in summer. And you can even dress this up or dress it down. It's not too short again, which I love because 
as in tall. I don't really like wearing dresses, which from too short make me feel a bit uncomfortable, but I just thought this was such a lovely dress. And yeah, this is a dress that basically sparked my shopping spirit. So I really like this one. I would say though, if you were in between sizes, definitely get the bigger size because with this dress, there is no give at all. And there's a tiny little zip up the back. Um, and this one was a bit tighter for me and I picked this up in a 10 and I vary between an eight and a 10. I'm normally an eight. It like depends on the fit, the, clo the clothing. Yeah, it depends on the fit of the clothing and the fabric and stuff like that. But this one definitely size up in. I just thought this is such a pretty dress and I can really imagine wearing it like on holiday. If we do get to go on holidays this year, who knows? We've already had one cancelled. So yeah, but let's just, let's hope. Um, but I thought this would be such a lovely little dress and I really like the colours, just thought it was so pretty. And yeah, really nice little details with the straps. Just really pretty, you know, like such a nice dress that you could just throw on in summer and just throw it on. And the back detail, like I love open backs and tight details on the back, so I just think they're really pretty and they add a bit more to the dress. Because obviously at the front, like, it's quite a plain dress, but it's just, the pattern's really nice. But then at the back, you've got these two little bows, which are so pretty. I think I've tied them really badly, so apologies for that, but I can't can't tie bows really well behind my back. No, no, anyway. So this is the last item that I picked up in my misguided haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed this haul and like the pieces as much as I did. Hope it like, it's a bit of escape from what's going on at the world at the moment. I thought just to have a bit of a fun, have a try and haul and show you guys what's about at the shops at the moment. Um, but I hope you did enjoy this and if you did, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.